This tutorial explains how to create a new workspace using VS Code. When working with VS Code for the first time, many users wonder how they create a new workspace. When you go to File, you do not see an option for a new workspace. You see options for opening workspaces, opening folders, opening files, uh, as well as saving a workspace as, but there's no new workspace. When you're building a new website or a new application, the easiest way to create your workspace is to start in your file explorer and creating a new folder for that workspace. So in this case, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to give it a name and in this case, and I'll give it a name called workspace uh, CST 120 for this example. Now when I go to VS Code I will do file and I will open that folder. I'll go locate it on my computer which happens to be in my documents folder uh, and happens to be in this folder right here and you'll see I'll select the folder. I'll tell VS Code that I trust that location. And now this folder is open here and I'm able to add new files and I'm able to new add new additional folders. So if I wanted any subfolders in that workspace, what I can do is click on the new folder and give it a name. So I'll create a folder for topic one's work. And now I have that folder as a subfolder in my workspace. And what I can do to finalize the creation of this workspace is file, save workspace as, and you'll see it create a workspace folder. And I can hit save. Now I can file, close my workspace entirely. And if I want to open that workspace again, I can do file, open workspace, locate it on my computer again. And you'll see, I have the workspace opened. That is the easiest way to create a workspace in VS Code. Alternatively, you could create that workspace file for VS Code to recognize manually uh, if you wanted to, uh, but that is a little bit more difficult. It's always good to take a look at what is inside of it just for your own purposes. If you happen to op open it, uh, you can open it with Notepad or Notepad++ as an idea. Um, if for example, here we'll just take a quick look. And if you take a quick look inside, you'll see that that is what is contained in a generic workspace file using VS Code. That this concludes this tutorial.